Hey, what's up guys, you got Crave here, and this is an update to a video I did about two months ago. And I mentioned there that I upgraded my processor around December, I think, but I got excited and started to work on getting more upgrades immediately right after that. So a friend of mine helped me with getting the best prices and setting up the new parts as for some reason I was afraid of putting it all together. I guess it's been years since I built a PC by myself. So I got a 5600X to go with an X570 and I'm really happy with it. An updated processor really does make a difference. You'll see it in the numbers, but the biggest improvement are really the elimination of the hitching and stuttering in games and the raising of the minimum FPS numbers to help deal with those very sudden change in sceneries and games or the intense graphical situations. Anyway, here's the current setup for all the games I used. The disclaimers from the previous video I did are still the same, but I'd like to remind you that, well, first is that two passes or more were done for each game and each resolution. Of course, I did more if the numbers didn't make any sense. And I guess the second thing I want to remind you guys of is that game settings are still consistent with the first video I did, which means they're generally all medium with some highs here and there. Of course, games like Deus Ex were exceptions, meaning there were a lot more highs. And maybe the third thing is that uh, background programs and launchers were running while I did the test to basically have uh, a real world scenario for myself. Also, there are two games here with some notable changes in the setup. First is Anno 1800 where I had to restart, which sucks by the way, since I had spent so much time on my original save. I really thought that my profile had been backed up to the cloud, but it wasn't. So anyway, the tests here I did were pretty much at the beginning of the game, which means it isn't as busy as a game that has upgraded buildings, so many people, and multiple stuff happening in the open seas. Second is that Baldur's Gate recently released patch 6, which means I couldn't load the same scene I did for the original video. Plus, I want to say that patch 6 really looks gorgeous, and I'm really not sure how that directly or indirectly affects the numbers, so there is that difference to take note of. Now, with that said, let's get to it. Here are the numbers comparing a 3060 Ti with a 4790K against a 5600X upgrade. So yeah, I didn't think that it would be like night and day in most cases, but it was. Matching your graphics card with the proper CPU makes a definite impact. Higher FPS average numbers are nice to look at when you see those numbers going up, yeah sure, but it's really the reduction in hitching and raising of the minimums that matter a whole lot. You don't want to be too heavily immersed or too much into your gameplay and all of a sudden just experience frame divs. That can really break the experience. Again, this is just my setup, and the simple take here is that any upgrade has to measure up to other parts in your system to basically match the FPS, resolution, and graphical settings you're aiming to get. It's really just, well, like most other things in life. So thanks for watching this, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.